Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday, which means happy Real Housewives of Salt Lake City finale day. I cannot believe it's already the finale, but yes, it is. Um, That's wild to me. What a short season. But honestly, at the end of the day, I love our Salt Lake City housewives. I just don't know what a lot of the storyline was this season. And that's not necessarily the worst thing ever. And it's not to say it hasn't been done before. We've had other housewife franchises with not as strong of seasons. And I feel like that's exactly what we just got this season. But with that, we're not back to talk about the Salt Lake City Housewives. We're back to talk about the fact that Kelly Dodd shared, her and her husband, Rick Leventhal, that he was in a horrific accident yesterday. He has four broken ribs, and now he's reacting to criticism. But I saw some really awful tweets about this, and I just wanted to kind of One, we're better than this, and two, jump right into it. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so I've seen this a few uh, places now, a couple of different media outlets, and of course, on Kelly and Rick's own social medias. But Kelly Dodd took to her Instagram page yesterday to reveal that her husband, Rick Leventhal, was in an you know, a horrible accident, which led him to being in the emergency room. And right now, if you see California, they are getting hit with so much rain, so much water. If you watch the news, they're saying stay off of the road, stay off the streets, like it's so dangerous right now. And I thought that that was wild, because you never know, especially when Jason and I lived in California, it's either the wildfires, and then there's no water, you're in a drought, then it's just like an influx of water. It just is anywhere you go. It's funny, because some people say to me, well, Adam, why would you move to Florida? Because there's hurricanes. I'm like, move to the middle of America, we'll get tornadoes, move to California, we'll get wildfires and earthquakes, move to Florida, you're going to get hurricane. Like, it's just you're not anywhere you go, you're going to get something. And it's just That is what it is. After the former Real Housewives of Orange County cast member traveled to Aspen with her friend, she shared a video of the aftermath of Rick's wreck and requested uh, prayers as Rick admitted that he was lucky to be alive. And he reacted to followers who said he's not that hurt after he shared a video from his hospital bed. Now, he does have four broken ribs, and I saw where some people on Twitter said that's karma. That's not karma, guys. You don't wish. He's still a father. He's still a husband. He's still done a lot as far as like his endeavors within the media. I I just feel like this kind of has me flustered a little bit because when I'm seeing the hateful tweets, I'm like, that's not, you don't wish this on anyone. That's disgusting. There will be no smash tomorrow on the Rick and Kelly show. My husband got into a horrible car accident. He is in the ER. Please say prayers for Rick Leventhal. That's what Kelly wrote in the caption on January 10th. And this was the, her post on Instagram, which featured a photo of Rick's totaled Mercedes Benz and the video of the scene of the crime. Well, it's not a crime, but I'm just used to saying, can I just say really quick, I've been watching um, See No Evil and I need to stop watching ID and purge all of it at the scene of the crime this isn't a crime it's an accident bear with me guys it's still i'm recording this at 7 30 in the morning following kelly's posting rick offered a response in the comment um honestly i'm lucky to be alive scariest moments of my life this makes everything even more meaningful a number of bravo liberties also weighed in and this was in her comment section um, Vicky Gumbelson, who shared not one, but two messages. Oh no, thank God he's okay. Praying for a speedy recovery. So scary what happened to Rick, she added, and she said, thank God he wasn't hurt more than this. Praying he will recover soon. Keep us posted. Brandy Redman said, lifting him up, my sweet friend. Um, Mercedes MJ from Shots of Sunset said, oh my God, no. And Carrie Brittingham said, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Kelly. Praying. Now, meanwhile, on Rick's own page, he shared a video of himself laying in the hospital bed, revealing that he suffered four broken ribs, fractured bone in his foot, and thanking those who've reached out. Oh, broken ribs. No, thank you. So lucky to be alive and grateful for all of the well wishes and care I am getting. Four broken ribs, fractured bone, right foot, wounded pride so far. That's it. And in the video, he shared with his online audience that he hydroplaned on the I-10 outside of Palm Desert hydroplaned because of the rain and well california is an absolute shit show right now because of the weather i'm not saying it's a shit show because of anything else just saying 
just hit what felt like an ice patch, patch of ice. It was water or whatever. The road was slick. I lost control and slammed into the wall, started spinning around across lanes of traffic and slammed right into the back of a tractor trailer. He also revealed that his window busted and both airbags deployed before the truck trucker uh, helped him out of the car. Now, after sharing what happened with his fans and followers, Rick was met with some criticism from a fan who pointed out that his injuries were likely not very severe as he was already back on social media. He's on Instagram, so he's not that hurt. I mean, you're laying in a hospital room. Why can't you go on social media? And after a fan defended him, noting that people are able to use their phones when hurt, Rick clapped back as well, saying, are you saying that to everyone who comments? Should I not let people know how I'm doing because I'm not that hurt? I also think that that's ridiculous. Who Who is anybody to tell anybody how they feel or how hurt they actually are? I don't get this. But we do know that The Real Housewives of Orange County Season 17 is expected to premiere on Bravo sometime later this year. I'm probably going to go with February, March, end of February, early March. Hopefully um, that has yet to be decided. But at least we have Vanderpump Rules coming out. We have The Real Housewives of New Jersey coming back. We still have Potomac. Today is our finale episode of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And then, of course, after that, we'll probably... I'm going to say it's going to be a two-part reunion. I don't see it being any more entertaining than that. And I hate to say that. I'm curious if Heather Gay is going to you know, admit what happened with the whole black eye situation. I don't believe it's in her book. I don't know how it would be in her book when the book was already done before any of this even happened. But okay, we'll go with that. I just don't know really what we're going to be talking about at the Salt Lake City reunion. I'm hoping it's good. I'm optimistic. I just don't actually know if we have a real reunion. And that's a really shitty thing to say. I mean, with the newbies coming in, with uh, where is the storyline? Unless Whitney is going to open up about her past with her family, which I think she's trying to protect them. And I, rightfully so, I understand she's the one who signed up for a reality show or the SEC filing with Lisa Barlow. Okay. Heather Gay in the Book of Mormon. I don't really, and Meredith in the foundation, but I don't know what drama they can really open up about. I don't know. We'll have to watch and see. Guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts about all of this and also the criticism that Rick Leventhal is facing for posting on social media, which I find to be ridiculous. Just because he's on social media doesn't mean he's not that hurt. But go ahead and comment below. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we will be posting polls in our community tab. And of course, Hot Messy Podcast is getting a shit ton of bonus content. So go check it out on Hot Messy Podcast YouTube channel. Get subscribed and also anywhere you get your podcast. Love you guys. Bye.